we'll do you want me to start from the beginning? 24th of March, lockdown. And what we were doing, we were fighting for our field up the top. We call it the meadow, because it's beautiful and we'll save it. There'll be no houses. No houses on the meadow! So we came together and we identified that us as a wee community, kept down, nobody was coming over the bridge. We had a wee bit of funding due to our consultation that not a lot of people showed up to. <laughs> so we decided what's the best thing was fruit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joyce Burns and I'm a member of the Cardown Community Meadow. We got together and uh, it was just uh, October last year and then before we knew where we were there was meetings and whatever was cancelled due to the lockdown. Now in the community we had been going round chapping doors and we had been speaking to everyone regarding the, the piece of land that we're trying to save and in that time we came across so many vulnerable people who lived on their own, they didn't have families near and they weren't able to communicate with other people about us. Um, we decided that what we would do is we would try and get some funding, and we, which we did. We bought lots of fruits and veg and it was great because we had all the kids from our own group and they came as volunteers. So Keenan, what have you been up to? So, for the past like a few months and weeks, we've been uh, delivering fruit to the community and what we've been doing is the fruit truck will come and we'll take it up, we'll take the fruit boxes and we'll pick them up and put them on this table and what we do is we bag it up, put it into the cars and we drive off to the community and we deliver it and we've, done it for, we've been doing it for quite a long time. And it's been good fun. It started about 70 odd residents and then it went up to 130 and then we ended up with 240 and these were delivered every week fresh from the market right into the hall. All the kids and everybody worked together. We had a wee process going on and it was done very quickly. All the bags were back out to the vans and back out to the doors. When we were chapping the doors, we realised that these people were, the kids in a Wednesday were the only people that they were getting to see. So therefore we were checking up on them as well, if they had medication, you know, if they needed help with anything. Even sometimes they would ask us if you get a bar of soap, a mount of shampoo, you know, and it was, a, it was a great communication that we had with everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much, girls. Mrs. Devon, what's your favourite thing that the, the Cardiff community Meadows done for you since lockdown? Uh, I think uh, they come around with the, the milk and bread, fruit. Uh, it's like as if we got the community back again. Yep. We couldn't do it without this charity, though, could we? No. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So have you enjoyed doing it? Yeah. yeah. Delivering to different people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any fruit that was left over from the deliveries in the Wednesday was all juiced up and it was bottled and handed straight out to the, all the pensioners and they absolutely love it and a lot of them were, you know, they were saying that buying fruit, you know, you go and get a sick pack apples or six oranges or what they couldn't afford it and it was too much for them and a lot of them due to other reasons they can eat apples and different fruits so getting the juice into the bottles it's amazing
It's, it's been marvellous and it's, it's kind of brought the community together because for a long time, just due to other troubles, the people didn't tend to get that involved with each other, but it's really different now and everyone's excited about what's been happening and the kids have been an absolute asset to us and without them I don't know what we would do. So, I mean, it's just wonderful. It's amazing when, you know, when a community come together in a crisis and it's just wonderful to see what they can do and what they can bring to the table. And our community, I think, just now is one of the closest communities that I've, I've ever been involved in. And uh, so let's hope it can continue and hope we get some funding so that we can keep chatting those doors. Okay. Is that all right? Brilliant.